What I have here is carburetor from the Husqvarna 44 uh, chainsaw, the pretty standard. It's Valbro, so we have the um, idle screw, we have the low, um, high, yeah, high screw. So everything seemed to work fine, but um, I'm going to see how how it um, looks inside whether I need to to change the diaphragm or some other things right let's see how it looks diaphragm and the gasket well actually it's not that bad at all so you can see that um, it's not damaged these valves small valves are not um, bent in either of the sides so it looks looks very nice to me so I'm just um, going to flush it because well, yeah, it's a little bit stout, sticky and dirty. And um, let's see how it looks from this side. I thought that I would need to replace this but apparently um, it's, it's pretty in good shape so they, I don't need to worry because usually what happens that um, if you have this diaphragm which has been there for a while it becomes like stiff so you can, especially these parts so you can't really um, do anything about this because the, the pump doesn't work so it won't bend and that's why you have the uh, erratic Island behavior of the chainsaw. Well, it looks this one looks a bit steep. Yeah, so I'm going to rep I'm going to need um, the replacement for this part so you can see how. Oh my God! Yeah, it's really stiff. It feels really stiff here. So I'm going to replace these parts. So it shouldn't be like this. Inside it looks fairly okay. Inside, so everything is fine except this pump. So I definitely will need to, to replace because this is the indicator of uh, of malfunctioning pump and this one shouldn't rotate too easily so this metal part should be kind of like tightened to this knob right um, now I'm going to use some car cleaner I'm going to use oil um, gas that I drained from the from the chainsaw and yeah, let's see what this is all about, whether I can uh, get it running. <laughs> 